Oh, there's something in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's see what we got. Ready? One, two, three. Well, let's see what we got here. It's a nice little artwork here of the city of Paris, looks like. Yeah, looks good. It's like it's huge. Let's uh, do this. Get this to the ground. What is this? Well, this was a table. Put legs in here. Nope. Nothing. Sand. Huh. Alright guys, I'm not sure if y'all remember there. a few weeks ago I come to a house that had a bunch of uh, stuff out in a Man, we found a lot of good stuff. And uh, I've been scoping this house for a while. I mean, it looks like there's some quilts and stuff in here. But uh, I've been coming by <laughs> like every week. And this is the first time since then that they've actually thrown some more stuff out. So it doesn't look to be as good, but you never know. So I've got this bag here. There's some hats and stuff in here, but looks like there's more stuff in here than that. So we'll go through that bag. And um, this one here looks like it's just a bunch of I don't know if I want to get this one. What is this? Oh, there's clothes in here too. I'm not sure about that one. I'll get this one. There's clothes on hangers, so it'll probably be a little bit better clothes. Health, Healthways Hollywood. Never heard such a thing, but it's kind of cool. That's trash, trash in there. Alright, this one had a bunch of junk really not seeing anything good in there not seeing anything in there either Might have stuff in it. Yeah, this one actually has some clothes in it too. I'll take this one.
All right, hope it turns out something good. All right, guys, so it's been quite the slow night. Um, you know, it's like that sometimes, and you know, that all you can do is just keep at it and hope that you find something. But uh, tonight's case, uh, it was it was really really slow. Um, I did get a late start uh, because my daughter had an award ceremony for uh, being the top one of the top 100 students in her class and uh, they had a ceremony and all that stuff so y'all you know, give a big congratulations to my daughter Victoria for you know that accomplishment I think it's out of like 750 students or something like that but anyhow uh, yeah I got a late start really two places that I stopped at that were worthwhile um, there's a third place that I went to guys <laughs> and um, a lot of times before I get my light on and start filming, what I'll do is I, as I will is I will actually, uh, you know, just kind of kind of look to see what's in the stuff and if it's worth me staying there longer and videotaping, I will. And you know, especially if it's just bags. Otherwise, I don't even put it in the in the video because you know you don't want to see a bunch of footage of me digging through a bag and there being absolutely nothing. But there was this one house that I went to that I looked in it for a little bit. There was a lot of, you know, pictures and of, you know, of, of, of uh, I guess the guy's mom and dad or the woman's mom and dad, whoever this, this stuff belonged to. And there was a box that was labeled. Oh my gosh, I forgot what it was labeled. But uh, they had a bunch of little random things in there. It didn't really look like much. And um, there was this box that was in here. If y'all can see that. Uh, just a little black box and I opened it up and I saw this little little medallion coin looking thing it looks like a little commemorative coin that they gave out to people who worked at this specific thing and it says in planning we trust has it some, something to do with refining or something tar team you flip it over to the back and it talks about you know the, the place in Alaska that they did this thing is BP gave these out um, well I looked them up online guys when I got home and I should have looked it up when I got there but I looked them up online when I got home and this is pure silver <laughs> it's 999 silver it's one ounce of silver and I'm going to put comps here so you guys can see but my goodness guys I'm going to go back and get those boxes because they, it looked like there was just a bunch of just kind of random, you know, stuff that really isn't any good that, you know, I wasn't interested in. But if there's more of these, even if there's only one more of these, man, I, I need to go get those boxes. So there's two little boxes that I'm going to go pick up and I'll show you guys when I get there. But my goodness, this is the second time that I found silver coin. The The other one was actually a, uh, I forget what coin it was. If I can find it when I get home um, tomorrow or, or later, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show it to you guys. But um, yeah, one troy ounce of silver right here. They're the comps, so you guys can take a look at it. And uh, I'm gonna go back to the house to see what we can find more. All right, so here are those boxes. I'm not sure which uh, box I was in. I think all this was like pictures.
kind of cool prints. Man, everything else that I saw was uh, like pictures and picture frames. And I don't want to take a bunch of pictures. This is mainly what I saw in here. Yeah. Yeah, everything else is picture frames and pictures. So I'm gonna take a look at this stuff as soon as I get home. All right, well, I don't remember which one of these two boxes is in, so I grabbed both of them. Wow. Is that another 1883? That's another silver dollar? Oh my gosh. Guys. There's another one. <laughs> There's another one. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so here's the first one that we found. Right? That's the first one. Oh my goodness. Business cards. Oh man. Well, right off the top. A bunch of paperwork. You see, this is what it looked like when I opened it. When that, this box, obviously, you can see it was all taped up. So, whenever I, when I was looking through there, I didn't want to tear it all open. And I just kind of you know, just pried it open a little bit, and that's when I saw that little coin, or the box for the coin. Oh, look, little Tweety Bird mouse pad. Might keep that. I think this is all gonna be just paperwork. Yeah. But I'm gonna go through this, so guys, thoroughly, just to make sure. Wow, I'll tell you what, even if those are the only uh, two other coins, it's definitely worth it that I went back. Yeah, that's all personal stuff. Okay. Let's see what's in this other box. Yeah, business cards. I don't even look in here. Oh, look at that. This is, it's probably like, what size is this? 2XL. It's a vintage 1995 championship rocket shirt. It says back to back. Can y'all see that? Sorry. That there, guys, is probably about, I'm going to say about a $50 shirt.
I bet you that that shirt has been in this. Cause look at these. These are old shorts. I bet you that shirt has been in here since '95. I'm not gonna touch that. Some socks. Vintage Nike. Definitely gonna try to sell the shoes. Oh, never mind. These are heavily stained. Well, you never know, but I'm not gonna touch that. Wow. Yeah, see. What is the expiration date on this? I don't see it. Okay, come on, baby. Be something good in here. Well, calendar or something. Yeah, let's see. Oh, look at that. Some brass knuckles. anything else right what is this some kind of key card I think got this chip in here I don't know what that is There's another one. I wonder what these are. I don't know what they are, guys. If it's something like, you know, I, I don't know. I have no idea what they are. Wow, I'm so glad I went back though. Because. Let's see what, I don't even know what kind of coin that is. Nineteen eighty-eight. One dollar bill, one dollar coin. Let's see what that is. Can you see my phone? Let's see. Eighteen eighty-eight. Dollar coin. Okay, it's one of these. Are you kidding me? It's Morgan. Well, this is uncirculated. Look at that. 1888. No, 1883. Let me look it up. 1883. It's a little bit older. Thirty bucks, sixty bucks, thirty bucks, thirty-seven dollars. But mine's in better condition than that one. Not as good as that one, but still, silver coin. Wow, guys, three silver coins. Can you believe that? That is crazy, 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 crazy. I'm so glad I went back. Three silver coins. And then this was in there too. This little, I don't know what this is. A little brass coin. BP's golden rule of safety. I think it's brass. The brass knuckles. And then uh, we'll go ahead and go through those bags tomorrow. All right, guys. So here we are going to do the winner for the purse. One of the two purses, and remember that whoever wins gets to pick whichever purse they want. So 
go here. I'm going to get this link. Then I got to copy this here. Then go to the selector, paste the video there. And it finds the video. Keyword filter. It's going to go with the word bag. Allow duplicates so everyone gets multiple choices or multiple chances. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a lot of comments on this one. Wow, I think that's probably one of the most comments we've had. Wow, 1,168. All right, so let's see who wins. Let's pick the winner. And the winner is Kendra Kirby, 8747. I need the little pink bag. Do you have one? All right, well, Kendra Kirby, send me an email. I'll put the email right here so you guys could take a look at it and let me know uh, which bag it is that you want. And uh, we'll go from there as far as how to get it to you. Congratulations, Kendra. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get right down to the brass, I guess, as they say, to this trash picking adventure. Uh, it wasn't a very busy night at all. Literally had three or four stops, three stops, which actually produced anything. The other stop was nothing. It happened to be one of those nights, but at the end of the day, I think we can easily say that it definitely paid off with these coins right here. I couldn't believe it. Um, if you did, if you fast forwarded to the very end, which I know some people do, basically what happened is I found this coin in one of those boxes there. Um, it was such a slow night that I ended up not even uh, wanting to take that box because I didn't even know it was silver. I thought it was just a plain, like, commemorative type of coin. When I got home, I did some research, looked at it. It is stamped silver, and I was able to uh, go back. And uh, thank you, baby. Yeah, I was able to go back and... Um, get those two boxes, bring them home, search through them, and I found not only one more of these coins right here, but the 19, I'm sorry, the 1883 Morgan Stanley coin in the trash. They get, I guess this company would give silver coins to their people, but uh, this this is by a company called Alaska Mint, and they gave these out to, uh, I guess, a group of workers who worked on this particular, um, particular, uh, I don't know, project i guess you could say north star mine point endodoc endicott camps and it has a bunch of numbers on there and then on the sides it does say 999 one ounce mint alaska mint 999 one ounce fine silver so there we go guys two of these coins let's take a good look at them so you guys can see it's got the bear at the front this is tar team 2005 and then in the back it has the information that I just read out to you guys. I could not believe it, guys. Silver. I mean, and this is 999. I mean, this is good. Good stuff. And, of course, the 1883 Morgan Stanley. It's kind of cruddy, so I don't know what's going on there. I'm not sure if that's something that we could try to clean or, should, or we should even try to clean. But um, it's a nice coin. Uh nonetheless exciting finds guys exciting finds and this is why i grab bags people say i can't believe you dig through bags i can't believe you get through boxes those are people's personal stuff well you know what this is exactly why i dig through bags and i dig through boxes because this the, the best finds that i've ever seen that you guys have ever seen me find have been in bags so i'm not going to go through those boxes i already went through them last night so you already know what's in it I just kind of set them here just to kind of go through them and in no particular order we'll just kind of start going through these bags um yeah real quick i'm not gonna i can't take too long okay so see this is why i grabbed this bag because i felt this hat this one says genuine panama hat 100 percent tequila paja tequila okay so 100 percent paja tequila Okay, so this this one, this is the pot Panama hat. And then this one here is a Stetson. Oh, Stetson's a nice brand. Doesn't fit me, obviously. 
I got a humongous head. <laughs> so this is why I stopped and got these bags because I, I felt all these hats. So see, Nike. I think these are for golfing. You got the Adidas, another Nike hat. And I'll try to put these online. Look at this one's pretty. This is an American hat. I'll see if Iris wants this one. You know, sometimes she likes to sport to sport her USA stuff. This is actually a neat hat. All blinged out. Of course, you know, we are definitely proud, proud Americans who love this country. Our son served in the army. So all that stuff's good right there. All right, then going along right here, we got uh, some more some more hats, looks like. We got this Bing hat right here. Ping, this golf hat. So I guess that stuff's belong to golfer. Timber Creek. And you also got this golf hair, don't care kind of hat. So, uh, let's see. Bunch of shoes. Like these. Got some Adidas. These are nice. I'll have to see if these fit Iris. What size is this? Seven and a half? No, they're going to be a little too small for her. So, and I don't know what brand these are. Sarah? No, Franco Sarto. They're nice shoes. Pumas. And, uh, guys, you got to look inside these shoes too because sometimes people do hide money in there. Seven and a half. Okay. Uh oh. Man, can this not get any better? Oh, it's empty. Okay, that's okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll save onto this, and Iris does sell stuff on Mercari that's Kendra Scott. She could box it up with that stuff and sell it together. So in here, you got more shoes. This feels empty. Yeah, that's, that's empty right here. So nothing going on there. I don't know what this is a shoe box or something but that's empty as well we got look some more shoes new balance these are really nice us tens i wonder if these are men's us tens hmm i'll have to take a closer look at those some more boots and stuff like that bag look at that just more 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 hats and all these will sell texas tech that's a good hat another texas tech this one has the tags on it and then broken ranch so a bunch of good stuff in here guys so far let's see batteries running kind of low so we'll have to kind of hurry it up some more hats uh what else is in here got the boots Franco Sarto. I have to look to see what that brand is because I don't know what it is. This is a precision cold compression therapy. Is this for a dog? Yeah, this is, looks like it's for a dog. Maybe dogs who have anxiety. Oh, look at this. So, makeup, lotion, lip balm, and, uh, there's stuff in here. October at Timber Creek. Uh, there's like little T's and I guess markers for uh, whenever you put your ball down. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's see what we got. Ready? One, two, three. Well, not that great. I don't even think it's silver. Not seeing any markings on it. But I'll take a closer look. Yeah, it's like copper in the back. That's a cute little necklace, though. That's a cute necklace. Let's see. What else do we have in here? Glove. Lip screen. Uh-oh. A 
Let's see what we got in here. Wow, we got some jewelry and coins. Um, now these are like little markers. Well, there's a quarter in here. There's some more coins in here. Yeah, I think these are the markers for when you go golfing. You just set them down. Or they're tokens for something. And then you got these little bracelets. I don't know if these are anything. They got a little owl on them. There's three of them in here. All right, well, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Let's see. Clothes. More shoes than in there. These are nice. So, looks like there's a bunch of shoes in here. More clothes in here. And the battery's running kind of low, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, see? I'm about to go through this. Bags. I'll go through them on my own. If I find like something like really, really nice, I'll show you guys. But otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next bag. And... Uh, I know in a couple of these, it was all it was was like quilts and blankets and stuff. And it might be this one. Yeah. So this one here, you got this quilt. It's a handmade quilt. Looks like it. So you got that guy there. See that? That pattern. Let's see. Got another. This is like a comforter. Got this comforter right there. Another quilt. I know some people pay some good money for quilts, guys. This is a nice one, too. What do y'all think? Two nice quilts and a big old comforter. All right. We're going to move on to the next next bag over here I right, finally got that bag open and by the looks of it guys this one here is also some more like maybe hand crocheted blanket some, some pants oh no these aren't hand crocheted Ralph Lauren wow this is nice though Ralph Lauren like that's what's in here more blankets and you have like some some workout pants hmm I have to show these to Iris see if she wants these Put a little workout hoodie but what is this a little scarf blankets in here and it looks like it's gonna be it I'm not seeing anything else in here at the bottom oh, Ralph Lauren or oh, Ralph Lauren if you're fancy you say Lauren last bag last bag Ooh. hat clothes I don't feel like taking these clothes out of the hangers guys because it's gonna be a pain there's a box in here uh, looks like there's baking stuff in there yeah stuff like this Korea little hearts um, Ooh, yeah, that's that box is huge. It goes all the way down here at the bottom. So the only things over here is a bunch of hangers. So there's some clothes and hangers in here. Really, guys, this, some sheets, stuff like this. So nothing exciting here. Looks to be all the same kind of stuff. 
but what do y'all think i mean it was it was a lot of driving around but only three stops oh and then of course this real pre, uh real nice uh print city of paris so it's pretty big uh, we'll try to get that sold on marketplace here today i'll get listed it has a couple little nicks you know from them moving around taking it down and stuff like that but nothing major we'll see if we can get this sold well guys all i can say about those finds is wow um a lot of good stuff i mean not a lot of stuff but you know that back of the shoes those shoes will do really well all those hats will do really well um i'll have to uh see if i can uh get myself to lissy's on on ebay or something buzz because me putting them on facebook won't give me that much so i get more money if i put them on ebay but we'll see maybe mercari good finds guys the the silver coins is just amazing they're they list between 30 to 100 dollars just all over the place on those things and then the morgan stanley another great coin that's still that's stuff i'm going to keep because it'll only gain value over time that being said guys hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you uh will hit like subscribe all that fun stuff that we ask you to do on youtube and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and close it out. Father Jordan, thank you, Lord, for just your many blessings. Thank you, Father, for just giving me the insight, Father, to and the and the instinct to just look stuff up and to just do more research. Uh, Father, I just want to thank you for just the, the blessings, Lord. Uh, this stuff that we find is amazing, and to be able to save it from the trash and being destroyed forever is, is just beyond, beyond amazing. So thank you, Father, for doing that. I just want to ask you that you continue to watch over our families, watch over the viewers, Father, that are watching right now, that you would heal their bodies, uh, give them peace in their minds and their hearts, Lord, whatever they'll be going through, that they reach to you and that they ask that uh, you would just, you know, just find a spot, Father, for, for them to just get to know you, Lord, um, and that they would accept you, Father, as their Savior. Lord, I just want to thank you for just everything that you do. Uh, thank you for just continue to bless us for our families for our health lord and it's the easy that we pray amen all right guys hope you guys enjoyed it uh don't forget to hit like subscribe all the good stuff till next time peace love you and god bless see ya